Ah, bonjour onyinga kina nindwe maganaduk. How is everybody today? It is springtime and it is nice, warm, beautiful green out there. So just a quick update on things that, uh, from a council perspective, um, first and foremost, I do want to touch on the Zeba water main break. They have um, located a water break and that is on Zeba Road, close to the Whirligig Road. Um, all Zeba residents are advised to boil their water and conserve water for the next couple of days while this is being addressed right now. I'd like to thank the Public Works for uh, all the work that they're doing to um, take care of this issue that we're dealing with. Um, that's actually a strategic goal thing that we look at is um, aging infrastructure. And that is a goal that we'll be looking at and addressing so that um, we can fix this issue once and for all. Uh, thank you to the motel, the press box, the CEO's office, everybody who's involved with helping with this issue. This, you know, it, it branches out more and we come together when we have issues like this and we address them quite well. So just to, just to re-remind everybody, a, if you live in Zeba and you have Zeba and your water comes from uh, the Zeba water tower, to boil your water and conserve water for the next couple days as they fix this problem. And in the, in the upcoming days, you'll probably see them also going and testing other areas as they try to isolate and narrow down these th um, water issues that we're dealing with out in Zeba. Um, going on from that, I'd like to talk about our spearing, very successful spearing season, um, a respectful season. People harvested respectfully. I'd like to say miigwech to all the uh, tribal members who were spearing and donated to elders and families. Walleye and smelt, it was much appreciated. Miigwech rat, you gave me a bag of walleye. So. Um, I just want to say that uh, KB takes care of uh, each other and, and if you couldn't get out, they were very kind to give their smelt and walleye to people during that time. And a big miigwech to the NRD fish crew who um, put a lot of work in during this time. They were out watching, watching the lakes and they were there every night for um, data collection. And thank you to the law enforcement who ensured safety of our our tribal members while well, they speared. All in all, it was a good season. And then to wrap that up, uh, we did get a um, memo from Jean who talked about how we're restocking. So not only do we harvest respectfully, we also put back what we had taken. So I just wanted to briefly give numbers on, on what um, they did with the walleye fry. Keweenaw Bay got 150,000. Huron Bay got 150,000. Lake St. Catherine got 50,000. And then our walling walleye rearing ponds also had 50,000. And one of the things that they noted was Portage Lake and the Keweenaw Waterway are not stocking targets for the tribe per an agreement with the, M, the Michigan DNR who had the capacity and commitment to stock up to 50,000 spring fingerlings there. So, um, you know, it's, it's a mm, walleye so great. Um, we harvest correctly and we also replenish correct. Um, uh, respectfully. So um, a great fishing, a great spearing season. Uh, we look forward to seeing the numbers and what had went on and the condition of our fish in our lakes uh, when the data is uh, or, uh, condensed and uh, a report is given out. Um, the Tribal Council did go to Washington DC a couple of weeks ago and we had met with a variety of um, representatives concerning our land claims and we had met with, I have to look down and, uh, and uh, so I can look at their names again. Uh, we met with the legislative assistant for Representative Alyssa Stockton, a Democrat from Michigan, um, very supportive. We met with uh, staff from the subcommittee on Indian and Insular Affairs uh, chair Harriet Hageman, she actually had to go on to the floor to chair a meeting with, um, in regards to the, it says managing the debate of a bill. I do believe that was the budget, but we met with her staff. We were uh, very grateful to be able to he uh, meet with uh, their staff. We met, of course, with our, our Congressman, Jack Bergman. He's always very welcoming and is uh, looking at avenues to um, push our uh, land claims bill forward. He did sponsor it. He's very supportive of it. We did go see our, uh, um, well, we actually met with Caitlin Johns Johnstone and that's Senator Stabenow's office. Um, and we also met with uh, Staff Director Bobby Ahern 
uh, the Democratic staff of the Subcommittee on Indian and Insular Affairs. So all in all, it was uh, pretty, pretty productive. It's a matter of getting this forward again, and we will continue to do that. We'll go back out there if we have to. Um, all questions that they had, we had answers for. And there's uh, very different and unique things that they, they bring up. Um, one of the things is our bill has been well-researched. Um, there's actually areas that they may be able to um, take, uh, take from to compensate us for the illegal takings of our lands. Um, we basically, uh, through our attorneys, through all the research that's done, um, have been able to answer every question that uh, they have brought forth as areas of concern. So uh, we'll wait and see what happens with that. Uh, let's see, we have been, uh, Council on a whole has been working on what we are going to call Title 28, Ethics and Government Code. Uh, we've gone through it a couple times, we went through it one more time, and we will be scheduling to finish it up in the near future. And that will be introduced as a proposed legislation to our code, and everybody will be able to read it and comment on it when it is finished. Uh, thank you, Austin, Councilmen Austin and Liz for spearheading that and going forward, and Councilman R.D. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, then, and last, I just want to end it on a happy note. Um, it is springtime, and we have all sorts of graduates. Congratulations to the KBOCC graduates, 10 graduates there. And our little Head Start graduates was last Friday. Congratulations to our little Head Start graduates who now begin their journey in education. And then we have in the we have our high school graduates coming, our Berga graduates this week and our Lons graduates next week. So I just want to say uh, your community is very proud of all the graduates at the different levels of education. And I would like to give a special thank you to all the teachers, all the professors, the administration and education, the committees. Um, it is all your hard work uh, that's vested in into seeing the fruition of uh, these happy events of people getting their degrees and continuing on, whether they be in Head Start going on to kindergarten, whether they're in high school looking at college or maybe joining the services or vocation. And just congratulations to our KBOCC graduates and their future endeavors. Um, let's hear it for the, let's hear it for the educators, miigwech. And that is the end of my uh, report for today and I look forward to talking to you another time. Miigwech.